Welcome to Little Bit Therapeutic Writing Center and thank you for volunteering. This video will take you through the grooming and tacking process that we follow at Little Bit. Please make sure all of your tack is properly assembled before your horse arrives at the tack barn. Please note, only class assistants, volunteer captains, leaders, and staff members are allowed to bring horses into the tack barn for grooming and tacking and turning them out again after classes. Never leave horses alone once they are clipped to the cross ties in the grooming stalls. As tempting as it may be, please do not pet the horse's face. A scratch in the neck or shoulders is a great way to show your horse some love. You may now begin grooming. Leave the groom box outside of the stall. Remember, only one person is allowed in the stall at all times. To safely move around the horse in the tack stall, always pass in front of the horse, never under the neck or behind the horse. If at any point during the grooming process you notice a cut, bump, or unusual marking, please notify an instructor. Begin with the hoof pick. Start with the horse's left front foot and work around the horse counterclockwise. Stand alongside the leg facing the back end of the horse. Be careful where you place your feet and never kneel when picking a hoof. Slide your hand down the leg and give a gentle squeeze above the fetlock to ask for the hoof. Hold the hoof securely in your hand. Do not hold the leg or the joint. Pick away from you from the heel to the toe. Make sure the hoof is clear of all debris and be careful not to poke the frog. Gently put the hoof down when finished. The curry comb is a rubbery bumpy brush and it is the first brush that you will use. The curry comb is designed to loosen up dirt and hair in the horse's coat. Start on the neck on the left side and work towards the back rubbing in a circular motion. Focus on the areas the tack will lay such as the shoulders, back, and girth area. This brush is not to be used on the face or legs. The stiff brush is the second brush that you will use in the grooming process. The stiff bristles allow you to flick away the dirt and hair that were loosened by the curry comb. Going with the direction of the hair, start on the neck on the left side and work towards the back using short, quick strokes. Focus on the areas the tack will lay, such as the shoulders, back, and girth area. This brush is not to be used on the face and only very gently on the legs if necessary. The third and final brush, known as the finishing brush, is used to smooth the horse's coat. Brush with the hair starting on the neck on the left side and work towards the back. This brush can be used on the legs, but it is not to be used on the face. When you are finished grooming, run your hand over the areas where the tack will be placed. This will ensure that they are clean and free of anything that may irritate the horse. Please note, we do not brush the mane and tail as part of the routine grooming process. When tacking, start on the left side and remember to be slow and gentle. The tack goes on in the same order it is listed on the rider list. The front of the Roma pad will have girth keepers, which should be nearest to the horse's shoulders. Place the Roma pad further up on the horse's wither and slide it back into place to keep the hair smooth. Some horses may also require an extra pad, such as mats, arrow, riser, or pro light. These are placed on top of the Roma pad. Gently place the saddle on the horse's back. If the horse is too tall or the saddle is too heavy, please ask for help. Make sure the flaps are flat and there are no straps under the saddle. The saddle should be a half a hand 
width behind the shoulder and sit centered on the horse's back. Pull up all the pads into the gullet, creating a pocket. Tuck the billet straps in the keeper on the Roma pad and Velcro other girth keepers around the top of the first billet. Starting on the right side of the horse, buckle the non-elastic side of the girth on the lowest hole. Move safely around the front of the horse to the left side and buckle the other end of the girth. Slowly tighten the girth a hole or two at a time on each side until the girth is tight enough that the pads and saddle will not shift. Do not tighten the girth fully. The instructors will do this in the arena before the rider mounts. Stirrups are already attached to the saddles. You will only need to change them if specified on the rider list. When the stirrups are not in use, be sure to run up the stirrup irons and tuck the leather through the stirrup irons to keep them in place. Some riders will require Devonshire boots or devs. Attach the devs by snapping them directly onto the stirrup. When attached correctly, the dev will point toward the horse's belly. When you are finished, gently run up the stirrups and tuck the leather through the stirrups to keep them in place. When your horse is saddled, seek out an instructor, class assistant, or volunteer captain to bridle your horse. Remember, do not leave your horse unattended. Please note, only instructors, class assistants, and volunteer captains can perform the following tasks. Bridle, insert and remove earplugs, and put on rope halters. Only instructors and class assistants can put on polo wraps. Some horses will require boots. Before your first class, watch the boot video online at littlebit.org to learn how to put on boots. Also, get help your first time putting boots on a horse. Thank you again for volunteering your time and learning the little bit way of grooming and tacking.